So, hi guys, I'm just going to continue the video. This is another video, just to show you some gameplay. This is from PlayStation's um, um, Ferrari Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast. As you see, it's almost running full speed. Really, really smooth. I think it's running good. Cool, okay. Now let me try to show you a little bit of gameplay from one of the other systems as well. Let's go to um, Sega Saturn. and use uh, the Manx TT Superbike. This is also uh, difficult to emulate as well. Okay, let's enjoy some gameplay. You can see the frames uh, per second on top right as well. A little bit of frame skip, which is fine. Okay, let's go. I just get the Yeah, there is a little bit of frame skip, but I think in general it's okay. Wow, cool! Okay. Very, very good. So, let's see. Just wanted to give you some idea. Because in my opinion, guys, uh, a good Linux-based uh, retro handheld would be able to emulate, let's say, until PS1. 
under $150 or 140 dollars I think that would be a good choice if you're looking into more uh, advanced emulation like GameCube PS2 you would probably have better options but uh, who is this device good for now let's just let me just wrap up this video I believe in general um, the OGU has good potential Although it has many downsides in terms of design, build quality, uh, not having an internal or built-in Wi-Fi, uh, the shoulder buttons as well, uh, mushy face buttons, uh, the D-pad as well, you know, not, not one of the best D-pads in the market. Um, despite all these downsides, I still believe if you are a person who is starting into emulation handhelds, and if you are a big fan of Linux, looking around 130, 125, 140 dollar price range, this could be a good device for you. And of course, as I mentioned in the future, I'm going to have a comparison video of my OGU versus my Ambernix 552. Uh, we will try to test more hard to emulate gameplays as well but I think for this video I'll just focus until PS1 I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please feel free to like and subscribe thank you so much for today